Hey everyone, so I'm Daniel, and Daniel, we're here with Let's Play Crusader Kings. Well, let's learn. And uh, new king now. And Gabalkind has split up our two kingdoms. So your little brother is the king of those two provinces there. We just helped him kill our uncle or something like that. Yeah, you killed your uncle in, on the field. Of course, you didn't do it because you're nine. <laughs> So, but now... so bring your troops back and disband them. Okay. So can I disband them here? No. No. Because that's not your territory. Not... Oh, yeah, you can do it there. Yeah. So, but he... But Martin's still alive, so I just saved his butt, basically. Mm -hmm. But he might be easy to murder, because he's... Because he's a kid, yeah. But I'm also a kid, so how good am I at murdering? Yeah, your spy master is good at murdering. Not really. As we've discussed, we got kind of crap counselors. Yeah, but the thing is, people probably hate him over there. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to convince them. So, uh, I don't know. Do you want to plot his murder? Well, we got two kids to kill, man. This kid over here, too. Right? Kid? There's a kid there? Wasn't it your... Over here. This kid. Yeah. Because... I'm his heir. It's true. Okay, maybe we have more plot power now. Is it possible? Uh, go to intrigue. Okay, I don't think you can plot as a kid. Oh, what? But am I at least older than these other kids I want to kill? Will I become not a kid? <laughs> well, you're your little brother for sure. How old is he? Leon. He's 11. Oh, no. <laughs> He's older than you. Ugh. Your heir is Martin, though, so... Okay, so should I actually... Should I keep my spy master here or not? Uh, so the good news is this guy's dead. Who wanted to kill me. Yeah, but the person he wanted to kill is also dead. What? <laughs> the person he wanted to kill is also dead. Oh, that's true. No, what you should do, your spy master, is have him scheme in your home province. Ties, great. Scheme in my home province. Mm -hmm. First one. There you go. Scheme. That way, if people are plotting your murder, you'll never find out. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, we guess we got better people now. Except the steward's still kind of junk. Is attempting to promote vile heresies. Who is this? Duke Nuno, my vassal. Of Vizcaya. Which is there. Why? I don't really need to arrest him, do I? You can threaten him to stay out of factions. He was in one. I don't know, he hates you. Well, that's great. I love it when my vassals hate me. Could I imprison him now? Whoa, what happened? Stop it. Marshal Rodrigo told me about his ideas. I didn't really understand what he was talking about. But it was Adam. 100% military tech for only 6.99 gold. It's nice. Okay. So wait, what is going on here? There's a rebellion. Are they rebelling against me? No, they're rebelling against their king. Probably because he's a heretic. You can hover over, you see underneath, those are the wars. You can see what they're for. Uh, Anso of Nav Navarre's Revolts, War for Navarra. So that person is trying to take it over. And this is... Gwenidian. Open council positions. My chancellor is dead? Yeah. Okay, well we need a new chancellor then. Wait, the chancellor's diplomacy? Yep. Ugh. It's already sorted by it. Ugh. They're terrible. 
What am I gonna do? Well, and the first one is the one who just did shenanigans. Well, is that will my count? Will people in my council plot against me? They could. <sighs> well, should I go for him or not? He wants to become king of Portugal. <laughs> That's a lofty goal. I wouldn't do him. He's he's going to be a problem for you, I think. Well, maybe if I put him on a thing, he wouldn't be a problem. I mean, he wants to become king of Portugal, so he's probably going to try to get independent. So I guess I'm stuck with this person? I guess so. So now what do I want to have him do? Uh, you probably want to increase relations with some of your vassals. With who? Are my vassals fighting? What is going on here? Apparently so. They got it handled, apparently. Dangerous factions. King Fernando II or Castile. I'm special. King's <laughs> strange diligent. Alright, so he... The Portugal guy wants to put the King of Leon on your throw. Okay, so what am I going to do about that? Well, the thing you should probably do is send the spy master to scheme in his capital. I can't. Until 1080 November. Whatever day that is. So what is going on here? They're fighting. Duke Nuno the Fat. Keeper of the Swans of Castile, so he's a he's rebelling. No, he's probably fighting one of his own vassals, because it's not a war you're involved in at all. You can hover over the little war icon to see what it is. War to revoke. Braganca. What does that mean? He's trying to revoke a title from his vassal. Scheme, click that. And click it again. Scheme, where? Porto. Here. Here? Yeah. Yep. So, if you're lucky, you'll get an event to where you'll be able to keep him out of factions. And you have a righteous imprisonment thing at the top. For him, it's a 35% chance, and if you fail, he will go to war with you. Is he strong? He's not very strong, though, is he? No, he is. Oh, he is. That's strong. why it's a dangerous faction How because I... he has 90% of your force, so it's kind of dangerous. Oh. Attract vassalage means you can take someone from under them to directly rule under you. You probably don't want to do that. Well, what am I going to do about this? Well, you're going to have to hope that your spy master does his job. And that none of the other lords join the faction. And you just send presents to all of them? You could. You got a lot of money. Not them, though, because they're just under him. So who? So your people here, your counts, Validid, Vizcaya. She's one. It's true. She just Does she him. like gifts? Does it matter? I think it does. Increased by 23. That's a lot of money. Is that worth it? 
Oh yeah. You think? What are you use the money for? I don't know. Money stuff? One children lack a guardian? What does this mean? It means you need to select a guardian for her. Why? Because for some reason you're in charge of that. I'm in charge of her? <laughs> yeah. So you right click on her and say educate. That's your sister, that's why. Oh, she's, she's the person who's here, isn't she? I don't think so. Okay. Is she? I don't think so. Does it matter who educates her? Well, you want... It depends... I mean, it depends on how you want to use her or anything. Well, apparently I can't use her for anything because she's a kid and a lady. <laughs> well... I don't know. I like to just pick somebody. Like, decide if I want to give her high intrigue or something. Or... But the intrigue won't do me any good. Well, I just... I don't know. You just do it because you want to... Make her a certain way. <laughs> Can she educate both of us? Or oh, she's my regent. Okay, sure, whatever. See, okay, this is my sister. Uh huh. So. They just have, the there's only one portrait. children's portrait. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why you look identical to your brothers and your cousin. I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with faction if the proper leverage is obtained. I'm not sure if one is better than the other. Blackmail? I think they're just... Threaten... Okay, well, I would think blackmail would have to do with intrigue and threaten might have to do with military. Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna guess this. Looks like it was a success. Stay out of factions for 10 years or something. Or, yeah, 10 years. That'll be plenty of time. It's for you to be an adult. Okay, I am a little disappointed that right before my first child murder, I died. <laughs> Serves you right, I guess. We have this a call is... to arms. From Isabel Shemina. Who is she? Whoa, what is going on? Looks like Leon and Galicia have my accepted God. the call. Dear cousin, we request your honor your obligation to answer call against me. Oh, it's a holy war. Yeah. What do I get? I don't get shit out of it. No, but if you win, your religion has more moral authority, which means you won't have. But heresies. these people aren't going to help me. <sighs> Maybe I can accept. And don't have to actually do anything. Yeah, that's that works too. Doesn't that seem like a flaw in the game <laughs> well the the reason why that's not is because who they're fighting if they win they can start then attacking you you know what i'm saying if they're if they oh. gain an advantage in the war because you're not helping then they can come and attack your home provinces. i see what's going on here that's still your vessel's war to retract that county So those wars are probably going to be over soon. And yeah, someone must have usurped the throne or something. Yeah, the war The war is for the original king to be back on the throne. The kid's not here anymore. Or there wasn't a kid over here, right? Never mind, no. sorry. It was this kid. Yeah. He's going to be an adult in three years. How old am I? You're 12. Oh, jeez. Looks like Martin, you're the one who's going to get it. <laughs> He's three. <laughs> I got my first kiss today. It was rather nice anyway. Too bad Rodrigo blundered in hospital <laughs> in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> they are out to 
get me a game of Paranoid Train. <laughs> so should I be arranging a marriage now that I'm taking an interest in the ladies? Oh, uh, you can now if you want. It just depends on who's available at the time, whether you should do a betrothal or just wait to get married. If you find someone who you would really want to marry, then... Well, okay, let's think about this. Who is worthy of me? I mean, if you married Isabel, king of or queen of Aragon, you could bring the two thrones back together. If okay, who is this? She was the first one on the list when you went to Isabel, find... queen of Ar. Who is that? Where is that? Uh, Aragon. This right, right there. Yeah. Then what would happen? Well, you would have joint heirs, right? So your next character would be ruler of both countries. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She just age up. But if she's my wife, I can appoint her to my council? Yeah, but you really don't want to. You can only appoint her to be spy master. You can only appoint her to be spy master? Uh huh. Uh, and you don't want to because you don't get the spouse and the spy master bonus, so it's almost always better. So wait, I get like a certain percentage of all of her traits? Is that how it yep. works? Yep. Okay. So you could marry her in four years. But there are others as well. She's a scholarly theologian. It's just high stewardship. That's good. Well, what else? She's fighting that holy war, so she'll gain a bunch of territory, probably. The problem is, if she's too closely related to you, you run the risk of inbred children. And it won't warn me of this? No. Oh. I mean, if they're cousins or something, it'd probably be fine, but... But this, she is my cousin. I would think you'd have the most to gain from marrying the Queen of Erica. She sounds fancy. Wait, she's 55? No, that's her, your opinion of her. Oh. Her opinion. <laughs> she's 16. <laughs> okay. So she's older than you. She'll show me the ways. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you right click on her if you want to do that. You guys actually have the same dynasty, so you don't need to worry about matrilinear or whatever. We wouldn't gain anything from marrying a queen. You gain 83 prestige. Oh. Because you're not really marrying higher than your station. You're marrying someone that has the exact same rank as you. <laughs> okay, Queen Isabel. do the Castile Aragon Union hundreds of years early. So there you go, you're betrothed. And it'll give me a message when you age up that you can get married. So since uh, since you're marrying her, maybe you should send troops to help <laughs> To help help her in her holy war, because it'll It'll directly benefit you. Where is her holy war? How is she doing in it? This is I it, right? I don't know. I guess. Yeah, that's... That must be it. Doesn't seem like where she would be getting the land, though. It's strange. She seems to be doing just fine. That's true. We'll keep an eye on it. If you're real lucky, the uh, the Pope will call a crusade for Andalusia. What?
What? He succeeded in that war. He's not able to join a faction against you, so it's unlikely that he's going to cause you trouble. And uh, maybe you want to improve relations with him, so that by the time you're old, older, he won't be as interested in killing you. Actually, he has a positive opinion of you now. So I don't seem to... I, that doesn't seem to matter very much. The opinion? Yes. It seems like people who like me plenty do things I don't like. Well, they have to like you a real lot for them to go against their own self-interest. I think there's certain thresholds where they won't do certain things. Like, I think if you have 70 opinion or something, or 80, they won't join a faction ever. Looks like you have the best person for the job. Why is everyone so stupid in this world? Marshall died. No! He was the only one that was good at anything. And you have to re get a new educator. Oh, jeez Louise! <laughs> Has he got anybody halfway decent? No. <laughs> you find this hysterical, huh? This is what happens. Nuno the Fat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? That guy has a 25 intrigue score? He really needs to be your spy master if he's not. He's not. Point a new one. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah? way better. And he likes you. Uh, no, no, no. Just do a left click there. Yeah. He's way better. He can do some serious stuff here when you get older. <laughs> you may as well appoint that bishop. He's the only man you got for the job. I got a bishop? It's not far. Oh, there's a mayor now. You can do the mayor or the bishop. He's lustful and envious and proud. Sounds like a good marshal. <laughs> you can give it the Duke, maybe he'd like you more. Nuno the Fat is going to be my... <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay, so now we got to make him do things, right? Yeah, make him train your troops. That's generally what you want to do. He's not going to be any good at it. I'll give you some bonus. Now, uh, have your chancellor improve relations with uh, Duke Nuno. Here? Mm-hmm. And now Spymaster. Uh, well, I'm not sure what you want to do with him. I guess scheme in your home province for now until you get older and then you can send him to do spy network against people you want to kill. Like your younger brother. I want to kill quite a few people. <laughs> so he better not die now. Well, the nice thing is scheming in your hometown is protecting you as well, I think. 75% in favor of her. Oh yeah, she's going to win that. Uh, so, click on Navarra, see what happened there. That war was over. You have a marriage proposal. Pros that, uh... You want to marry my mom? <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> he wants He's to, 24. He wants you to mar your mother to marry his bastard. <laughs> what? That's what that is. Why would I do such a thing? Who are you? That's like, the king of Navarra. Do I want to do that? I would say no, because she's your regent. Oh wait, I still I have to educate myself again. Yeah. Right click on yourself. Oh man. Zaharia needs a new educator as well. Jeez. Why? Wasn't my mom doing it? Why does she need a new educator? Oh I guess not. It's just you have the option of reassigning. 
Yeah. I would say f do the top one. Well, sort by military. I guess the top one is the best you got. He he has the brilliant strategist thing, which is something you want. So I would do him. You only have three years left, so he can't mess this you up. This military too bad. was thirty-three. Now look at it. Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, you're a different man than your father. Not as good. <laughs> there are other ways to be a great king. I don't know about that. How are you doing, Miss Wifey Poo over here? She's doing great. Oh, we discovered a plot. Someone was, always wants to kill me. Who is that? Cool. Waffle this <laughs> fall. Is that a Welsh person? I don't know who that is. How do I find out who that Go is? Go to intrigue. Known plots tab. Spymaster of Galicia and Regent of Galicia. Well, that makes sense. She wants Martin to be king. It's Martin's spy master, I think. So, what should I do about this? Can I make her end the plot? You can try. It's pretty unlikely. No. It says. I can't, I can't even send it. Yeah. Because it's a guaranteed no. Well, what am I going to do about it? You can't do much about it at the moment. Go into kill hiding that if you want. Stupid boy. You can go into hiding until you age up if you want. So should I be changing my laws? You can't now. Why? Because you haven't been king for ten years. You mean a succession? Or a crown authority? I think you can you may be able to do that. Go to your laws. Uh, I guess you can't do it right now. Hover over to see why. Because it's a regency. You need to age up. Okay, you got a lot of gold. You can build buildings, probably. Okay. Uh, so, uh, click on a province that you own. Does it matter which? Uh, your capital is probably the best place to build stuff. Click on your castle. See what you got. It tells you what they do. That'll give you extra morale and more le levies. Barracks, I think, just gives you more more troops. Yeah. Well, what do I want to do? What to the point? I mean, both are good. I don't know. I think trading ground is slightly better, but it's more expensive, so. <laughs> That's stuff you don't have the tech for yet. Oh. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but what else are you going to do with it? I don't know. That's what it's for. I guess. I've just been conditioned that you just hoard money in games. Yeah, but you got to understand that when you invest in that, that is something that's going to return investment for 400 years for you. Yeah. Assuming you don't lose the province. When do I become an adult? 16. 14. Two years. Okay. So, next time, hopefully, we'll plot to murder our brother? Yeah. That'll be good. <laughs> so I can get the stupid kingdom back. <laughs> See, but now I'm just trying to get back what I lost. I already had this. Yep. <sighs> well, this is how this game goes. No, I, I was led to believe this was conquering the world. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> you have 400 years. 
That doesn't seem like enough time. <laughs> well, it's generally not for the entire world. Well. Can be if you're just crazy. So we'll see you next time as we plot to murder a little kid. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>